Today we're covering another fantastic video idea coming from the same dude who recommended one of our recent uploads. So it looks like your name is listed as follower. Uh, so follower, thanks for the great recommendations. Now I'm not sure if it's just because I'm a hair guy and hair tends to be one of the first things that I notice, but have you ever noticed how some of your favorite creators or anyone who you pay attention to, how their hairstyle has evolved over the years and usually for the better. When they were younger or you look back, you might even have thought like, man, this guy just, he doesn't have good hair. It's unfortunate, but his hair is just not good. But then a number of years later, they've learned what works for them and how to level up that hairstyle. And you're like, oh wow, actually the, his hair is pretty good. It's just that he started from here and now he's here. An important thing to understand when we're talking about picking the right hairstyle for your age is that this is all still very much dependent on an individual level. It's about finding what you like the best or what you think looks the best on you and continuing to tweak it to perfection. I think Logan Paul, love him or hate him, is actually a really good example of this. His hair in the early days of vlogging was just not the move. I think we can mostly agree on that. It was just so messy, but not really in a cool way. It's just overgrown on the sides. And rumor has it that he has the fringe to hide some reception, which is fair enough. Recession, not reception, which is fair enough. I mean, you can't do much about that. But I did watch the recent Jake Paul fight against Tyron Woodley. And anytime that Logan was on screen, his hair overall appearance was just looking majorly leveled up compared to back in the day. He's got a very unique hairstyle to say the least, but I mean, it really works for him. And that's what I mean when I'm talking about diving into the individualistic nature of hairstyles in general. He's learned where to keep the hair tamed, such as on the sides that used to flick out like crazy, but still keeping the fringe look. Um, but it just looks a lot more refined and there's some personality in there with the slight mullet-like effect in the back. Yeah, I got a mullet. Four. And really, I mean, I've got the same story. I think most of us do. You can see the levels of insane volume with the disconnect that I used to have. And uh, slowly but surely, I've learned how to take what works and cut out the stuff that wasn't working. Of course, hair can be an ever-changing journey, but you learn to play within the confinements of your own set of rules. But really, you do need to experiment to learn what those rules are for your own head of hair. Lucky for you, we live in the age of the internet where you can cut out uh, years of experimenting thanks to information. And that's what I'm here to provide. So with all of that context out of the way, let's talk about a set of parameters that you can follow to match the right hairstyle to your age. If you're a younger dude, and by younger, I mean like 18 and under. Listen to me. Literally do whatever you want. I know this might not sound that helpful, but these are the years when you can just experiment as much as you want with the least amount of judgment involved. So experiment, you know, try out a bunch of stuff because this is a stepping stone to a more evolved hairstyle later in life. If you get lucky and you find something you love, that's great, rock it. But I promise, even if you love it now, you're gonna still learn how to refine that hairstyle and make it look even better. Trust me, I've been there too, looking back at some of my hairstyles, even on this channel. I'm like, really, was that the move? But I used to think it was. And you know, I had to start there to get to where I am today. I'm not saying what I've got is perfect right now because it's getting quite overgrown. And if you saw on Instagram, it's because I'm letting it grow for a big transformation coming up. So make sure you stay tuned because that's happening pretty soon. On the other hand, I know that there's a lot of dudes out there who want to look older. Either you're a young guy who wants to be taken more seriously, or you are an older dude who's just stuck with an eternally looking baby face. Hair can play a huge role in how old you look from an age perspective. The main thing that you're gonna wanna do if you are in this boat is avoid really edgy hairstyles. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with edgy hairstyles, but if you do appear young, edgy hairstyles will play more into that narrative and continue to keep you looking younger. Some great hairstyles that you might wanna check out on the other hand include the side part and slightly more grown out sides. Or if you do like something on the more edgy side, like a disconnected undercut, you can still have something like that, but just up the sophistication a little by adding a bit of a fade and not having such a harsh transition between the sides and the top. For example, check out the difference between this undercut. You know, it's very drastic. I mean, yes, it does look cool, but it is on the more experimental side versus something like this. It still provides a good amount of edge, but it's just more sophisticated looking. It's a little bit more mature. The thing to remember is that you can nearly always pick the hairstyle that you like. Just tweak a little bit, refine it a little bit to find a more mature version of said hairstyle. So you still got a lot of options. It's just, you know, toning it down if you're looking for that more mature vibe. But again, the side parts, the messy slick backs, the grown out sides, these are solid options to get yourself looking a little older if that's what you're after. Now, if you're an older dude, and by older I mean 
25 and up. And obviously I know there's usually a pretty big difference between a hairstyle that a 25 year old is rocking versus a 40 year old, but the advice under this category remains the same. It's all about accumulating the knowledge that you've developed over the years to do with your own head of hair and maximizing it to its full potential. The one thing I do wanna make clear is that your hair doesn't have to get more and more boring the older you get. Unless of course you start to lose hair, in which case you have more limited options. But that aside, your hair doesn't have to get more boring or more professional the older you get. Um, it should always speak to who you feel that you are in the way that you wanna represent yourself. I think going back to the mullet is a great example because mullets are probably one of them, those, you know, it's that hairstyle that is really out there. It's considered really out there. But even mullets can have a refined look. Yes, maybe I'm just trying to convince myself a little hint somewhere in there. Again, Logan Paul is an example like we saw earlier, but here's a few other examples of a mullet looking more mature. Of course, it will always have a good amount of edge, but just because you're getting older doesn't mean that you have to leave all the fun to the younger dudes if you still like, you know, something a little different. But a key sign or something that older guys should be paying attention to is making your hair just look a little bit more natural. Those hairstyles that are chock full of lots of obvious product that's visible to the eye, such as gels, um, you know, anything that makes your hair crispy or like crunchy looking. Leave that to the younger guys who are still experimenting. Work on making your hairstyle look more natural um, and still styled, but just more on the natural side. That is a key differentiating factor. And of course, no matter how young you are, if you're in the middle or if you're an older dude, you can find the perfect hair product for your hair at Bloomon. Dot com. Thank you guys for watching. Hope that uh, this provided some perspective. Um, I know it's a bit of an interesting take. I wasn't like, if you're young, use this hairstyle. If you're old, this is for you. You know, it's a bit more intros introspective. All right. Thank you guys for watching. If uh, you're new, hit thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see everybody next time.